I am officially a citizen journalist who has been chosen to contribute to MTV's Choose or Lose Street Team 2008. There are 51 of us representing all 50 states in the District of Columbia. We are basically independent contractors who were outfitted with gear and a little bit of training by MTV and sent out to report local stories. We're supposed to kind of get a feel for what's going on in our local communities and report on that as it relates to uh, presidential politics. This is uh, my portable uh, citizen journalist studio that MTV gave us. Um, we've got our uh, production studio here in terms of a very large and nice Dell laptop that they gave us. Uh, it's loaded with the Adobe Creative Suite software as part of the Adobe Youth Voices out, uh, project that was donated. Uh, we've got our DV camera for the nice shots. For the quick and dirty, we've also got our Canon power shot for stills and more mobile clips. And our external microphone, more cables than I can count, and all in our very comfortable choose or lose street team backpack. Turnout is increasing in the youth vote as it did from 2004 to 2006. It's up again in 2008. Right now, I guess it's just that young people are aware this is a very important election in terms of making up for some things that may have gone wrong in the last eight years. And if you think about what young people have to choose from, it's not really surprising that Obama has got a lot of support because a lot of the young voters, their entire lives have been a Bush or a Clinton in the White House. So it's natural that they're looking for something new that would be their own sort of vote. You know, young people go to the internet for entertainment and news. Uh, it's easy for people to forward emails, send them links, post articles on their Facebook profiles, and the presidential candidates are being smart in exploiting new media like that, that is just going to increase their profile in the eyes of young voters and give young voters more information and more opportunities to act. You don't even have to leave your house sometimes. You can sign on to an electronic uh, phone banking system and just make calls for your candidate based on an internet database of phone numbers. Here locally, I know that the Young Democrats of Georgia are focused on three main issues in terms of their legislative work. Uh, that's education, the economy, and the environment, not necessarily in that order. But, um, you know, climate change is obviously a looming fear of young people. You know, what kind of world are we going to leave to our kids? And the economy has always been uh, an issue of ours in terms of what kind of jobs are we going to be able to get as we graduate from school. And now that's really coming into the presidential campaign uh, as we start going into this bit of an economic downturn. It was interesting for me because like a lot of people who don't live in Iowa and New Hampshire, I had the same sort of begrudging feelings about Iowa being first all the time before this particular campaign. And then I was working for a candidate who had no money and I got to see what it was like for you know, smaller um, war chest candidates like that to be able to go around these states like Iowa and New Hampshire and make their case to voters. And I did see that Iowans really take that job seriously. So with that, I was impressed. It's definitely, you know, like college football in the South is presidential politics in Iowa. And that's another thing that people were talking about Iowa in terms of the way caucuses work. You're in the public and you have to stand on your vote in front of your neighbors and your peers. Here, you may say, oh, I like Obama, but then close the curtain and it's just you. Uh, you might, you know, some voters may think, yeah, but I'm just not ready, and cast the vote for somebody else. Uh, which I think is probably why you know, you're seeing a lot of support for Obama among young voters, because we are part of the next generation. We're ready to set that aside. We don't have the uh, legacy of the civil rights movement and you know, the strife part of that as part of our collective unconscious. So we're ready to turn the page and, and try something new. You know, some young people may think, oh, politics is for people who major in it and study in it, and maybe they come from political families that have that kind of legacy. 
but I just showed up to a meeting and they said, here, here's how you get involved. And that's really what the uh, young Democrat and young Republican groups can be, is uh, we sort of consider ourselves the, the farm team for real politics. It's the place where you can go to ask stupid questions that you'd be afraid, you know, how do I impact uh, politics? And they say, well, come on, we're going to go lobby down at our state capitol. And you can very quickly see that just by going out on a Saturday and knocking on doors, you can really change things and then meet people who help you change even more things.